Rifleman. Oh, what's happening? What are they doing? You guys see someone? You're just firing for fun. Okay, they see somebody. Oh, there's guys up there. I think we got one. All right, eliminate sunburn. Maybe our code name should be Team Aloe Vera. Team Aloe Vera and SPF 50 are on it, Chief. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into Operation Flashpoint 2 colon, Dragon Rising. This is a first person shooter game created by ex servicemen who were actually fed up with the portrayal of war in video games. And they wanted to make something that was hyper realistic, like to the point where like a single bullet can take you down, even if you didn't hear it fired and it was fired across the map. Uh, so this game actually is, uh, and I think the sequel has been refined a little bit, but this sequel requires real world tactics, you know, cover, drawn out firefights. Frankly, I'm very interested in this, actually. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm all for the unrealistic war shooters like Call of Duty, where you have to, like, duck into cover and your guy magically just heals himself over time. But I'm interested to see what, like, a hyper-realistic uh, shooter game is actually like. And fun fact, this game is by Codemasters, as you can see there. You might recognize them. They're a company that's been around for a while. You know, they did the Dizzy series back in the 80s. You know, the one where you're like a walking egg picking up random objects. And then they transitioned into very hardcore first-person simulation shooter games. So, <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's a natural transition or something. Who knows? Anyway, for us today, uh, we are entering an island, I think, in like the South China Sea or something like that. As far as I understand, this is basically almost like an open world game. Like, we're going to be on an island running around and... Uh, I think it's like the Chinese government has invaded it after a period of being destabilized. They're trying to take Russian oil or something. I don't know. Geopolitics, blah, blah, blah. Also killing people in a hyper-realistic war setting. So uh, let's go ahead and make this a thing. New campaign. I am Private J1001 of the 1001st Infantry. We parachuted in. Uh, go ahead and create a new save slot. Why not? The Chinese invasion of the Skira Island. See what's happening here. Washington, D.C. to Beijing, China. Geopolitics, I told you guys. And here we go. The island of Skira. Controlled by Russia somewhere. I, where was that island? It's made up, but like, where does it exist? I didn't have a good sense of uh, where it actually was. 1610, what is happening here? Are we getting like the history? Oh, we are actually. That's actually kind of cool. So it's like ja Japan colonized it, and then the Russians colonized, they recolonized it after it was already colonized by Japan. And then in 1905, war! Japanese territory. This is actually kind of cool. I mean, the the history of the, the 20th century and just the wars that went on, First World War, Second World War, the Cold War, all that stuff. I mean, it's it's fascinating stuff. I mean... Thank God that we live in an era where that kind of war doesn't really exist anymore. I mean, I know, you know, like Russia's busy trying to interfere in American elections and stuff and do all sorts of like cyber warfare. But thank God we're not in an era where, you know, like the people who actually live through this, it's, it's crazy, you know. Um, it's, it's sometimes easy to forget. You know, like we hear about World War II and stuff all the time, but literally they filled up boatloads of people and sent them across the ocean and gave them guns and they shot at other other people. Like, it's just crazy to me. I don't know. Like, I, I obviously don't come from, like, a military family or anything like that, so maybe to some of you guys this is all not news, but um, it is crazy to think about what war really is. So, anyway, they're, they're giving us a whole backstory, blah, blah, blah. Okay, stuff happens. We gotta go to Skira. Let's not try. I feel like I'm bringing the video down. I'm like, war, man. It's it's totally crazy. It's messed up. Like it definitely is. Um, but let's let's try and let's try and have fun with the game itself. Get some knife kills. Um, I like how after all that geopolitics and everything, they're talking about like the price of oil and goods and like destabilizing governments and stuff. And they're like, but get your knife kills in. Don't forget about those sweet knife kills. 
All right, so Saber 2. We are moving to copy an LZ. Be advised. Can we aim or anything? Okay, we can't do anything at the moment. All right, here we go. All right. So the controls seem pretty basic. Sort of Call of Duty-ish. Oh, I can get on the ground pretty easily. Hold on, if I... How did I get on the ground? Okay, if I if you hold in the left thumbstick, you get on the ground. Uh, press and hold the sprint button to move faster. What's the sprint button? Uh, okay, now that... I just selected a knife. <laughs> okay, hold on. How do you sprint? Okay, tapping in that makes you duck. Yeah, that makes you look. What's the sprint button? Hey guys, does anyone know what the sprint button is? Okay, now that just changes my... Man, there's so much stuff going on here. Okay, I think it's the A. I think A button makes you sprint. Weird. Okay, we gotta run over here. My guy does not run very fast. Wait, I'm not even running. That is not the, the run button. Oh, there it is. It's left bumper. There we go. My guy actually can run. He forgot for a while there. You know, you're in the middle of war and you forget how to run for a little while. Happens to the best of us. Alright, so we're obviously still in the tutorial missions. Because one of our missions is go to a place. <laughs> You're a video game character, and your mission starts off, go to a dot. You know you're still in the, t the land of tutorials. Or you're playing a very old game, maybe. Possibly. Alright, we made it to this place. Press and hold the quick command's radial control to issue orders to your fire teams. <sighs> if I knew what that button was... Oh, it's right bumper. Issue a move order to your fire team to the defensive Saber cover nearby. Okay. Everybody, move. Saber, this is Saber two. Solid copy. Eliminate the radar. LZ until you give us the all clear. Everybody, move over here. Rifleman. Oh, what's happening? What are they doing? You guys see someone? You're just firing for fun. Okay, they see somebody. Oh, there's guys up there. Boom. I think we got one. That was all me. Is there another guy up there? Okay. Covering fire! I'm gonna run for this cover over here, guys. Everybody cover me! I'm your CO! Yeah, that was a good job, guys. Oh, there we go. Ensure you keep your fire team with you at all times. Do not get separated. It is vital that you use your fire team in every engagement. Okay, everybody follow me. Hey, we oh look in, in the upper left corner shows who we got we have like a, a fire guy we have a medic and we have another guy who's tying his shoes with three different kind four four different kinds of people in our squad including myself now right, let's run up here and see what we got people we're gonna loot the bodies nobody tell the general that we did this I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to just loot random enemies that you kill hostiles as they write as they call them in the army All right, let's see. I I wonder if the bodies actually are even up here. <clears throat> In some games, they despawn the bodies uh, when they're off screen for a bit. Press and hold the reload button to select available ammunition. All right, select the grenade launcher. Wait, what's the reload button? Oh, there we go. High explosive grenade. I don't know what an H D H E D P grenade is. We're in grenade. <clears throat> We're in grenade launcher country, though, people. They frosty. I know that from the movie Aliens. Oh god, oh god. Also, uh, in, uh, StarCraft. Don't they say that? Stay frosty? Who are you guys shooting at? Oh, oh! Okay. We're getting fired at. Do you guys see someone? Oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. Boom! That even hit? I can't even tell. One of my guys is injured. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and flank him. I don't know if my tactics are actually good or if they're just stupid. Boom. Oh, I. I'm shooting it over his head. I thought I had to arc it. I'm just gonna aim where the dot is. Here we go. 
Boom. Oh! <laughs> I think I blew him up! He's going home in pieces. Blow that guy up. I'm like crawling through the grass now. I still hear guys. Is your guys shooting? I hear bullets. I'm gonna assume it's my guys and that we're okay. And I'm just gonna keep running this way. Everybody keep following me. Oh look, there's that guy I killed. Oh, access equipment by holding the menu button. So, equipment button, right trigger or B? Oh, here we go. The T4 detonators, here we go. All right. Charges set. All right, there we go. We, how do we check this body? Look at it. Um, ooh, there we go, we can actually, oh, interesting. Let's take his, his stuff. There we go, we got extra stuff. All right, everybody get away from the radar, I'm about to blow it. Is everybody sufficiently away? I feel like we're pretty close. For, for a realistic uh, war simulator, I'm not gonna risk, risk these guys. It's pretty good. Think, kaboom! All right, everybody's now deaf. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna switch my gun here. Here's the weapon I took from that guy. I'll just like fire randomly into the village. Everybody, get in your houses! Oh man, look at this gun go. But that was pretty fun. Uh, calling in fire support by looking in the direction you intend to target, then press the fire support button and navigate through the radars. Man, there's a lot of, like, calling in support, actually. I guess that this is, you know, this is the whole supposed to be a real-life war simulator thingy. I should probably, A, get down. B, I should switch to my actual good gun. This is a pretty cool gun. Is this a real gun? Okay, and meanwhile, let's call in support. Oh yeah, there he is. Look at that bastard. Artillery strike that guy. We're gonna go with a howitzer. High explosive. Barrage! Fire for- just do it all! <laughs> I wanna see this happen. Do it. Good fire at this guy, too. I want to see the artillery take him out, though. The artillery coming in. Oh, God! Oh, my God. Okay, that was pretty sweet. Is that a bad guy, too? Did we shoot this car? Can't tell. All right, well, we sufficiently just uh, utterly brutalized a village. Good start. So I'm really curious how the, the development team, I mean, it's not even the team, but the company that started making Dizzy, you know, the Dizzy games in the 80s, how they got here. <laughs> it seems like a rather large gulf to go to A from A to B. Maybe the whole time they were making the Dizzy games, they were like, man, what I really want to be doing with my life is creating like the most realistic war simulator ever. But instead I'm working on a puzzle where a, a humanoid egg has to take a, th a thimble to get past an ant in a treehouse, you know? Like, maybe they were, like, kind of not very happy about the, the Dizzy games. This is where the, their their passion was in, you know, war simulators. It's interesting, because, like, on the surface level, this definitely feels like Call of Duty, but it definitely is not really Call of Duty, you know? Like, it's, it's quite different. Um, all right, we are here. What's our next mission objective? I kind of wasn't paying. Was anyone paying attention to the general? Because I was kind of talking when he was telling us what we had to do. Uh, let's go to... There's usually a button where it shows you the mission. Oh, look at this. Like, see the island. So here's where we are. Here's all the different places that you can go in the island. Wow, it's huge. The... What is that? The Srinkrin Light... The Skrinka Lighthouse. That's where the ultimate showdown will be. But for right now, what are these blue dots? 
Hmm. Uh, oh, display orders. Oh, wait, I can order units. Wait, hold on. How do I... How do I actually find out what my orders are? And I guess... Oh, destroy artillery SAMs. All right. So this is probably the most unrealistic part of the game is like actually having orders floating around to tell you what to do. In a real war game, I have to imagine... <laughs> not in a real war game. In real war, I have to imagine that we don't have this yet. Although, like, maybe one day. I mean, the military is always working on, like, crazy futuristic technology. I'm sure one day a soldier will put on a helmet, and it'll be, like, an augmented reality thing that, like, scans the environment. is like, floating text bubbles for you so you know what's going on in the world around you. That will be, like, science fiction times when that happens. I say when that happens, because I'm, I'm sure it will happen in my lifetime. In all of our lifetimes, really. Is everyone following me still? They are. My little squad. This guy's name is Winters. Hey, no, wait, guys. I wanted to do a thing where I introduce you all. This guy is Morales. We call him Pete. This is Winters. We also call him Pete. Knox over there is actually named Pete, but we call him Peter, so as not to confuse him with Pete and Pete. Pete, Pete, Peter, and Jay. That's the squad. We call it PJ. That's three P's in a row and a J. I am just making up the stupidest stuff, aren't I? Vehicles moving down the MSR from the north. LZ must be clear before Trident can extract. Copy my last, over. Okay, we gotta clear out the LZ. Secure the LZ. You can issue orders. Orders, try issuing orders to view, view the map now. Oh, via the map. Um, okay. So we'll bring up the map. Okay, so we need to clear the LZ. Which is over here. So we'll go over here. Snap. Orders. Uh, tactical. No, that's not what we want. Orders. Uh, offensive. Assault. Grid two, one. Oscar, X -ray, eight, Wait, Yankee, cancel. Two. Affirmative. Okay, they're going off. They're fighting the war for me. I, it just feels like cheating. <laughs> Sending your AI NPCs into battle to die for you. I guess that's how I guess that's how it really works in war. No no one man is an army. There's no I in army. There is a my. It's my army. I don't know. Oh shoot, people are shooting at us. You were like where bullets are coming from, but I don't see guys. It's actually a little hard to aim in this. Well, I'm gonna try switching controllers here. Alright. Yeah, there we go. I just had a crappy controller. Making it a lot harder to play this than it should be. Look at all these guys. It's still hard to aim, actually. Like, I don't think there's very much aim assist. This war has the aim assist turned off. Maybe I can try running up. Maybe these guys are, like, covering me sufficiently. Killing one of your fire team members. He's bleeding. I kind of skipped that. Sorry, dude. Okay, oh, there's a helicopter up there. Oh, hello. Oh, God. Oh, God. I am bleeding. Uh, when taking serious wound, you'll start to lose blood. The amount of blood you can lose indicate on the indicator. Stop the bleeding. Quit the field dress. Field dressing from the equipment menu. Hold... Fire until the indicator. Okay, so I'm gonna have to heal, try and heal myself, but I gotta kill this guy first. Where is he? He dead. Oh yeah, we got him. All right, uh, field dressing and heal myself. All right, go, go. Am I using it? Can't, I can't tell if I am. I guess I used it. Interesting. Um, I thought this game was not going to have, like, any healing. So, to have some is kind of interesting. You know, what's, you know what sucks is I switched to a controller that doesn't have uh, a bumper. So, <laughs> I can't run. Uh, Alright, hold on. I gotta put the war on hold again because I gotta, uh, gotta change another controller. 
All right, the war can resume. I've replaced my controller. Now, I'm supposed to destroy these SAM sites. So I kind of went into this game assuming that one bullet and I'd be dead. The fact that you actually can heal is nice. It definitely makes it more playable, but it does take down the ultra realism a bit. I mean, I guess maybe there's like a way to play this on like ultra hard mode and then it would be super realistic. But I feel like for most gamers purposes, like you want a video game to be somewhat forgiving. Um, having an, an ultra ultra realistic war simulator. I mean, I guess honestly though, I could see some people wanting to play that. So I don't know. I don't know. Either way. Um, oh, am I not? Is this not following me? Affirmative. Where is everybody? Way over there. Oh wait, the extraction helicopter. Oh, okay. First we have to destroy the SAM sites. Then I'm sure we can get extracted. Everybody follow me this way. I kind of ran ahead of everybody. My controller's like starting to vibrate. Am I like running too fast? Am I guy gonna have a heart attack? I'm like slowing down for a sec. Ooh, you can like feel your, your heartbeat in the controller. That's actually really funky. Where is everyone? They're like way over there. Okay, hold on. Uh, bring up the map. Uh, where are these SAM sites that we're supposed to? Okay, they're coming. They're coming to me. Um, oh, wait, the helicopter is there. Wait, hold on. Hold on a second. Guys, I might have messed up. I think there was a helicopter landing over there, and I think we're supposed to actually be on it. I hope my squad doesn't get too frustrated with me. I must be really annoying for them. And look at this, the goggles on my gun, though. It's like crazy. I have like three kinds of goggles on this one gun. Need the ultimate goggle on my gun to zoom in in all conditions and see stuff under many lighting situations. Oh, my guy's gonna have a heart attack again. I the vi the fact that you can feel his heart and the vibration of the controller is like ooh makes me think of all the stuff that can go wrong on a day to day basis. Like right now, you guys are sitting watching my video. Think of all the stuff that's going on in your bodies right now. Your hearts are busy pumping blood all over the place, and your lungs are breathing in oxygen. If any of that stuff stopped, you'd just be straight up dead. That is a tough pill to swallow. Okay, my heart is going nuts. I wish you guys could feel my controller. It's vibrating quite a bit. Look at this majestic helicopter beast spitting dust all in our face. Oh, God. Did they simulate getting dust in your eye? How annoying that is. Get in. All right, let's do this. Where's my squad? Do they follow me? Are they getting in too? I think I might have left them out there. Kind of left my squad out there to die. Um, oh, they did get in. They did get in. All right, everybody get in. Get in. All right, off we go. Nobody wants to sit with me. Notice that? I'm like sitting all by myself. All by myself. Nox is up there. All right, we're being told that we're on track to assault Skira, get some rest, and tomorrow the real action begins. Hey, we beat a mission! We destroyed the surface terror missiles, failed. Oh, come on, I, I got confused. Didn't realize that was actually part of the mission. All right, whatever, we beat a mission. I am I feel like that's a, a rousing success for our first outing together with my squad. Campaign in progress. Blinding the dragon. Mission two. Destroy PLA defensive sites. All right, let's do it. This is the middle of day two. Destroy the sunburn site. Light infantry defending emplacements. Light armor has also been seen operating in the area. We have one spec ops engineer scout team. One spec ops recon team. Guess what? That's all we're going to need. So we need a plan going in here. I think that we should not just run in and try to assault ground vehicles at point blank range and instead should fire artillery at them. And as for soldiers, I'm going to send my teammates to kill those guys and I'll just be kind of running around on the outskirts, having fun, hopping in and occasionally killing people when it feels right. Uh, ooh, we have a different gun, I think. I want a sniper rifle. Is that a thing in this game? Solid copy. Proceed inland and avoid contact. Your targets are PLA coastal defenses. How copy? Over. Saber, this How is copy? Saber what does that mean? Over. Saber All right. Two, this is Saber. 
Well, we were told to run in, but also avoid combat. Ooh, we have like a night vision scope. Pretty cool. Alright, eliminate Sunburn. Maybe our code name should be Team Aloe Vera. Team Aloe Vera and SPF 50 are on it, Chief. Uh, let's go over. They want us to meet over here. Uh, everybody follow me. Get your lazy asses over here. I want to channel like Apone from Aliens 2. Alright, you worthless maggots. You want to live forever? That's actually, uh, <laughs> Starship Troopers. Whatever. Apone, Starship Troopers, all the same. Channel some, like, classic sci-fi boot camp people. This guy's like yelling codes at me. I have no idea what they they mean. He's like Zulu Alpha Echo One. I'm like, dude, just tell me at this point. You're trying to you're trying to describe where where we're going. Just point in the direction you want me to go, man. I'm a civvy. I'm not an official. I'm not a real military person here. Is everyone else's heart rate beating so hard they feel it in their controllers? Or is it just me? Okay, hostiles are sighted. What should we do? I'm guessing do nothing, eh? What is going on? Rifleman, 100 meters south. Really? South. Looks like a bush to me. How, how can you guys see anything? You guys are superhuman. I literally don't see anything. Okay, 100 meters south. I take your word on it there, Chuck. Pete, Pete, and Peter. That's Team Aloe Vera in action. We're just gonna keep running. Hopefully none of the guys who are hanging around here that apparently you guys see, but I can't. Hopefully none of these... these dudes notice us. Maybe they're ghosts and just I can't see them, but my guys can. I don't know. Alright, nothing, nothing... nothing really to kill around here. This is, I guess, a stealth mission of some kind. Keep running. Would have been nice if they gave us motorbikes or something. Would have really sped up our uh, our mission. But I guess command doesn't think about those kinds of niceties. They're not the ones out here slugging through the mud, watching their brothers die face down in the reeds. They don't care about us. Saber, Saber three is moving to a flanking position now. Over. Okay. Saber, this is Saber two. Copy that. Proceeding to OP. Saber two out. Okay. All right, Marines, let's get this right. Colonel Masters is watching this mission. The fleet is on its way, which means we've got a tight window to take out the PLA anti-ship missiles. After that, we move inland and take out the radar linking their SAM sites and open the door for the Cobras. All clear. The Cobras? They're searching for us. Oh God, I just got hit. I am in trouble. I'm bleeding, people. Uh, okay, field dressing, that, and dress the wound. Oh, there we go. All right, wound is dressed. Oh, do they? But do they know about artillery? My night ops gun. Oh, there, I see a guy. I actually see a guy. Oh, we actually got somebody. That was a clear, we clearly killed someone. That was sweet. Oh, I think we got that guy, too. Alright, finally. I feel like I actually definitely killed those guys. Pretty good. Contact! Rifleman! 100 Where? Meters. North Where? East. What? In what direction? East? Rifleman. Northeast? Oh, they're just running out in the open. Oh, look at them all. Oh my god, are we getting artillery? Who's who's firing artillery? What's happening here? He's just crawling through the mud. He didn't care. He might have killed him. Is there a helicopter coming to kill us? What's happening? Oh god, somebody hit me. I got hit in the head! I can't see so good! I'm in trouble, guys! Field dressing and wrap that bandage around your head. Wrap it up real good. I'm gonna look like the invisible man on the battlefield now. Whatever keeps me in the game though. Flank. 
The sunburn. Eliminate sunburn. Do we have a medic? One of you guys is a medic, right? Morales. Winters. The third guy. Guy number three. Is he dead? Hey, wait. Why do I only see two of you? Where, what happened to guy number two? The guy who's <laughs> all red? Did he die? You guys are not doing your jobs watching out for your buddies. Hey, hold on. Let's check a map here. Where are we, even? Hey, we're like there. But what are we supposed to even be doing? We're supposed to be eliminating that thing? Why are we going in such a roundabout way? They said, uh, like, I don't 100% get what's going on in this mission. We're supposed to, like, wipe something out and stuff, but we're taking, like, a really weird path. Like, why don't we just beeline for where we need to go? Like, I'm following these, uh, these arrows, but Follow I don't me. even know if they're, like, what we're supposed to be doing, actually. Like, we are so far away from sunburn, it's crazy. Saber 2, this is Saber. Patching Saber 3 through to your comms. Over. Position taken. Holding fire. Copy that, Saber. Saber 2 out. I feel like the other team got to where they needed to go way faster than us. We took a really weird route. I think we're doing a bad job at war, guys. We're not the kind of dudes you want to bring into battle, as it turns out. Turns out the guy who's really good at Pac-Man and Arkanoid is not necessarily the best soldier. Uh, you might you might want to have stricter criteria for who ends up on uh, your your fire team, other than the guy who likes to play NES games. Go figure, eh? All right, I don't see anyone. The interest, the the difficult thing about this game is like it. It often seems like, yeah, okay, nobody's around. Then out of nowhere, you just start getting like fired on, because you know that's how it really works. The enemy team isn't going to announce themselves like in most you know sci-fi video games. So they drop down like drop pods and explode, and they're like glowing pink. And before they even shoot at you, they just start taunting you, like screaming at the sky. Like, no, nah, typically, real soldiers will kind of hide and wait for you to appear and then shoot at you when you're not paying attention. That's how real soldiers do it. Um, although we are actually making it to the Saber place where we need to go. Saber. Saber oh, hey! This guy. Inbound, hey, dude. Copy can you heal us? We'll take it from here. Saber two out. I could really... Wait, how am I healed all of a sudden? Oh, that's cool. Okay. Now can we eliminate the sunburn? 100 meters north. 100 meters north. Here. How do you guys see this? Where? 100 meters. Well, I have like a bit of a radar here. Like is he here? I'm like following the the red arrow on my radar. That doesn't exist. Rifleman, 100 meters northeast. Here. Oh, what is that? Oh, hello. Okay. Let's call down some artillery. Oh, we can't. Yeah, I see them. I actually see them. Yeah, we got to get into a better position, guys. We're in a bad position here. Okay, they were like more around over here. Like we're running down this way. It's like impossible. We can, however, go and eliminate this thing of theirs. While they're busy running around the hills, we're going to blow up their truck. It really sucks because that truck has all their mixtapes in it right now. They're going to have to walk all the way back to base with nothing to listen to. They're going to have to hum their own Cindy Lauper songs. Because their CDs and their mixtapes are going to be dust. Yeah, they just ran away from this thing that we're supposed to detonate, so... I'm not going to ask questions. I'm just going to destroy. Charge set. Blink. Get clear. I don't even think I stuck it on the... I didn't even bother sticking it on the truck. I was just like, whatever. Right here is good. The ground. Okay, everybody ready? Boom. We do it? Saber, this is Saber 2. Sunburn launch vehicle located and eliminated. Oh, the, and the, all the guys came. Saber are these bad guys or good guys? Fleet is now moving into strike range. I think these are good guys. Fleet will be 
Firing for effect at targets along the coast, which may affect NV gear. I'll copy, over. Saber, this is Saber 2. Copy that. Over. Okay, so now we gotta watch out because they're just gonna start firing at the coast. Target is a SAM radar array about one click to your east. SAMs must be ineffective by the time the Cobras make landfall. I'll copy. Saber, this is Saber 2. Copy that. Out. Saber 2. So when I'm realizing about this game, oh god, <laughs> what I'm realizing about this game is that like the firefights are like scattered and infrequent, but it's probably much more like you know real war. Like you don't you don't go in like Halo and like mow down a whole army by yourself. You have like small engagements between like different squads of dudes. Oh god. Ugh. Oh, I think I got him. I think I got him. Oh, no. Maybe not. Get him. Get him. You can't tell if I got him or my squad, but it really doesn't matter. Is there another guy in there? I'm just, like, running through the battlefield. This is definitely not how you're supposed to do it. Boom, boom, boom! You got flanked, son! Oh, I got two of them! Oh my god. They're- they're everywhere, aren't they? Are they behind us? I'm just, like, looking at the radar. Meters southeast. Like a guy over there. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I- I'm getting a taste for this war thing. Boom, boom, boom! I think I got him. It's nice that just, like, one bullet kills people. That yeah, guy's definitely dead. Could loot his body. Hey, what? What's going on here? Boom. That sucks. That guy's like bleeding out. Can we like knife him? And we'll get our combat. We'll get our knife kill. Back down here. Right in his face. There we go. Give him a quick end. A soldier's end. The death of a Klingon. Let's grab what this guy had. What is that? I'm kind of curious about that gun. What do we got here? The QBZ95 assault rifle. Hold on, guys. I'm testing out a gun. It sucks. Nobody pick up QB95 assault rifles. Turns out they're no good. Interesting, uh, sort of majestic rolling hills here with trees. Lovely environments here. But yeah, the firefights, like, in Call of Duty, I feel like we would be fighting way more dudes. And it's like, there would just be, like, constant action. I guess being a simulator, it makes sense that this game is going to be way more slow-paced. You know, way more about just doing your missions. Like, <laughs> in Call of Duty, I feel like some of your missions are like, kill everybody. You know, like, you're going into a place, kill them all. These missions are like, destroy that truck. And then go to this place and secure the beach. You know, like very much more military-ish missions, I think. Rifleman, but, uh, 100 anyway. meters northeast. 100 meters. Oh, hello. 200 meters. Rifleman, 100 meters northeast. Guys Got a can hit this guy. I was trying to, like, line up the sights so that I could, like... Because in a real gun, you don't always shoot at the exact crosshairs. If guys are farther away, you have to shoot at those fours or sixes. Like that. But I think yeah, I'm just supposed to be shooting with the crosshairs here. Okay. There we go. Oh, there's still guys. Okay, I'm going to try and flank them a little bit. You guys keep them busy. I'm going to run around them. I'm going to force gump them. See if I can get them out of position. Oh, there's a guy. Got him. And is there another guy over here? Oh, I think I got him. Oh my god. Ow, ow, ow. Get behind this tree for cover. Oh, he has a grenade. Oh, look, there's a guy. 
Okay, you know what? Ow! Oh! I got sniped! Wait, who killed me? <laughs> I got one-shotted, man. That sucks. Wait, are those guys my squad or bad guys? Failed. Let's load the last checkpoint. Are you sure you will load from the last checkpoint? Yeah, well, my unsaved progress is me dead, so why would I not want to reload? They're like, you're gonna lose this, this version of the game where you're lying dead in the field. Are you sure you want to reload? Are you sure you want to go back to when you were alive? You could just lie here for another 20 hours. Enjoy the serenity and peacefulness of death. Total distance traveled. Okay, wow, interesting stat there. Um, alright. So, Contact um, 100 meters northeast. Okay. Boom. Oh, there's more guys. There's a lot more guys out here. So, yeah, I, I guess actually, I take it back. I was gonna say, like in Call of Duty, I feel like there's more firefights and stuff. Actually, I, I don't take it back. It is true that in Call of Duty, there would be more dudes to shoot at. But there are, like, fairly frequent firefights in this, actually. Like, once you kind of get going. Interesting. It's different kind of firefight than Call of Duty, but not so different that, like... Contact. Like, you just need to adapt a little bit, I think. But it's not fundamentally different. Um... Hello? East. East. Oh, hello. Kill that guy. Anybody else? I like how my guys are like calling out where the dudes are because I <laughs> I'm really bad at spotting them All right Hanging around the houses is a good place because you get like some free cover here okay, Remember there was a guy over here 25 meters south 25 meters south Body found one of theirs. I think he's he's flanking us Hey man, where are you going? Where are you going, man? Let's get our pistol out. Oh, he's right in this house here. Oh, he's like right in here. They're gonna kill him before I even see him. Is that him? Is he a bad guy? I think it was him. <laughs> I couldn't tell. Pistol sucks. I thought it would be like a gun that you could shoot repeat like really fast. Pistol sucks, man. Okay, just stick pro tip, stick with your main gun. There's no reason to go to a pistol. Alright everybody, we're doing great. Everybody continue to stay near me. Follow, Follow me. me. Affirmative. Don't mess it up. Let's all try and not get shot in the face up here. I've heard that's a thing that could happen. A friend told me. Alright, so there's a bunch of guys up near those trees over there. That I remember. I don't know where the guy who did shoot me came from. Like, I don't know... If I was in, like, a bad spot or somebody just got lucky. I guess we will find out. But, uh, yeah, this is a simulator. It's like to go 200 meters. You literally have to wait the amount of time it would take to run that. My guy is like getting really out of breath too, poor guy. He's like sweating, getting all sticky. I'm just like sitting back here like, come on man, run faster. Rifleman, 100 meters. There's that guy. Boom. Boom. But why am I reloading already? Boom. Boom. Missed that guy. Support Boom. 300 meters north. Boom. Oh, I missed him. Anyone else? I think there was still a bunch of guys up there. Contact. Rifleman. 100 meters. Is that a guy? Contact. Okay. Gunner. Okay. All right, we're getting people. North. We're getting people. Okay, there's some guys out here. Boom, boom. Alright, we got that guy. 
Anybody else want to be a hero? Rifleman, 300 meters north. Oh, look how far these guys are. Man, it's really hard to like aim. The crosshair keeps like wobbling. Oh my god, it's maddening. <laughs> oh, aim at him. Stop wobbling the damn crosshair. Okay, we gotta get closer. We just gotta get closer. The, that same thing happened in a Metal Gear Solid. I remember it was like cool because it was like hyper realistic, but it was also rather annoying. Oh! Oh, come on. How did that not hit him? Okay, whatever. If he's so far away that like these shots are missing him, then he can't hit me. So that's all I care about. Eliminate radar. What is this that we're right in front of? Should we blow this up? Hey, they're killing people. All right. I'm going to blow this up just because we can. Oh, wait, not field dressing. I want C4, baby. Let's C4 this thing. All right, everybody back off. This baby's about to explode. We're going to blow it up for effect. We're totally giving away the uh, element of surprise. Meters west. But uh, whatever. Kaboom! Be advised. Saber Green is now in contact on your flank. Over. All right. We did it. We blowed up a thing. From now on, any things we see, we're just going to blow up. Because we can. All right. I'm pretty sure there's guys, like, right over this ridge, so. Yeah, like this. That stupid bastard guy. How am I not hitting this guy? Maybe he's body armored? There we go, finally. Man, that guy was annoying. You have no idea how annoying it was to kill you. Oh, there's guys. I see them this time. Support gunner, 100 meters north. Oh, hello. Boom, boom. I think I got that guy too, all right. Clearing the way. I have no idea how to reload, by the way. Oh, wait, there it is. Never mind, found it. I just needed to try a button, rather than not ever trying a button. Oh my god! <laughs> I wonder if my team will just finish the mission without me. Or you know what? You know what would be kind of a cool option in this game is like if you died, you got to play as somebody else in the squad. Like you took over somebody else. Anyway, that was our second kill in the second mission. And we've already been playing this game for like almost an hour or so. Um, I think as far as first, you know, I think as far as this game goes today, this is sort of as far as we're going to get. Um, in terms of taking a look here, uh, a little peek at the opening of Operation Flashpoint 2, Dragon Rising. You know, this is one of the games in the book, a thousand video games you must play before you die. I, I think this is actually a decent game. It's a slower game than like Call of Duty, but it didn't, it also didn't strike me as like fundamentally different. I think Call of Duty is obviously unrealistic in the sense of they're just amping things up to make them more exciting and more crazy uh, because they're trying to make the game faster paced. You know, the same way that Hollywood action movies often like make things incredibly unrealistic and over the top because it just makes for sort of a more uh, exciting movie. Um, in terms, though, of this being a simulation of war, I think it was really cool having like the squad based stuff, having like the emphasis on objectives. You know, the fact that you could die so easily, you know, we died here in the second level and it, it's kind of ending our little run here. So it's like might be a downside, but like it wasn't it wasn't so easy to die that it was not fun. I think um, I think I was just getting a little too antsy and a little too confident and cocky. I think if I were to keep playing this game, you'd kind of have to adjust your mindset and get a lot more cautious compared to uh, a game like Call of Duty. Um, and I think that's kind of cool. I, I like the variety that the you know, that Operation Flashpoint 2 here brings into the first person shooter space. So although this is probably not a game that I would play too much further um, and I don't know how widely I'd recommend this because it might be too difficult of a game for just someone who's looking for like a really casual experience. I nonetheless think this is kind of a cool idea for a game and it seems very well made and stuff. And like I like the menus and uh, how everything is laid out, the controls, all that stuff. It all seems good. So 
Yeah, I don't know. Interesting game, I think, at the end of the day. But what do you guys think of Operation Flashpoint here? Is it a game that you've played before? Do you have thoughts and opinions or tips and tricks? Do you think it belongs in the Thousand One game book? Or would you have swapped it out for something else? Whatever your thoughts on this game may be, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, whatever you think of the game, hopefully today was interesting and entertaining. If it was, don't forget to like the video and all that stuff. And uh, other than that, I will catch you guys in the next one. So until then, take care of yourselves, my friends. Alrighty, guys. Peace. Alright, I'm pretty sure there's guys, like, right over this ridge, so... Oh my god! <laughs>